Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Joining me here today, my old friend, Mr. Clive Sawkins. He's the CEO of Pinnaca. Clive, welcome to JSA TV. Well, well, thank you very much. It's great to be back. We haven't seen each other for ages. It's been way too long, and I was just saying, since the last time we sat down in front of a JSA TV, I'm, I'm sure your company has doubled, if not more, in size and uh, reach. So uh, can you tell our viewers who may not remember uh, what Pinnaca is and, and what you guys are up to today? Uh, absolutely. So, so Pinnaca is a cloud managed service video collaboration company. Uh, we specialize in delivering secure video, um, either through public or private cloud, and we have, as you say, just grown and grown and grown over the last few years. It seems to me that video has come of age. Yes, yes, absolutely. And what type of customer verticals does Pinnacle cater to? Um, many, in fairness, but I think in the last probably 18 months, we have seen certainly healthcare go absolutely gangbusters um, for many reasons, not just in the traditional applications in the operating theatre, but in secondary healthcare in uh, distributed architectures where uh, consultants need to be online, where experts need to be pulled into an environment very quickly, that's growing, and embedding video into workflow type applications. We've always been very strong in the judiciary, uh, and we support a number of applications in the uh, penal system for uh, management of uh, courts, uh, detention, and those types of things, which has proved to be uh, a real growth industry for us. Not that I think that crime is growing. It just seems to me that in that particular vertical, people understand the power of video and how it, how it can be used. And we're doing some real interesting work in in protection in type environments where we're doing things around secure witness, which really adds value. Great application for video. Wow. Yes, wonderful. And in here at ITW 2017 uh, in Chicago, where many service providers globally meet, uh, what's the message here today for, for those service providers? Well, there's, there's a couple of messages. Funnily enough, I'm at the uh, i3 forum launch this afternoon to do a presentation. And um, the things I'm going to talk about is that video has come of age. There's a completely different user base out there that accepts video in their private life, and now they want it in their business life. Why won't these applications just work? Um, so I'm going to talk a, li a little bit about uh, how video really has come of age, uh, the power of video and collaboration, what it means to the service providers, do they build it themselves or collaborate with a partner that can deliver it for them, uh, the issues around transportation of video and the quality of it. So uh, a very broad subject, and that's one of the issues. It is a very, very wide subject when you start to talk about unified communications and collaboration. And certainly you have a long history of partnering with some amazing service providers to, to bring your collaboration video tools uh, to the end user. So that's... Uh, we do. We do. We're, we're, we're very lucky. I think there's two types of service provider out there. Uh, ones that always want to build it themselves, uh, don't necessarily have the skill set to do it, but their their history is that we have to own the boxes and the infrastructure, and what, I t what I personally term the old mindset. And then there's the newer uh, service providers and, and partners that uh, know that it's not their core. Mm -hmm. They know that they need help. They know that this is quite unique uh, and that they want to partner with someone that instantly brings them those skills, um, that bench strength and that knowledge to help their customers and partners. And those are the ones that typically I partner with. Yes, uh, absolutely. And, and for sure, I think that's been the overall theme of ITW is the strength and uh, the need for partnering. So uh, great message here today. Looking in your crystal ball as a CEO, can you mm -hmm. tell us where do you think Pinnacle will be in a year from now? Um, I guess the truthful answer is I don't know um, because the industry is constantly changing. Um, we're going to grow, absolutely. I mean, we've just, uh, 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 we're just about to publish our last year's results. We, 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 drew, we grew excuse me, 23% last year. Outstanding. Uh, um, we are profitable. We're debt-free. Uh, the markets that we, we choose to play in are absolutely going gangbusters. Um, so I think it's more of the same. We, we're going to continue to grow, continue to invest. Uh, I might look around the industry for further um, uh, acquisitions if I can find the right organizations that add value to the the, the, the work that we're doing. I think we'll be doing more systems integration work than ever before, embedding our video products into workflow type applications. Um, but I guarantee we're going to be growing. Love it. Love speaking with you as always. Can you tell our viewers who I'm sure are interested to learn more, where can they go? Just go to the Pinnaker website, www.pinnaker.com. 
pinnacook.com. Clive, always a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.